So lately I've been outdoors exploring my local creeks and rivers and um, I've actually found something a little bit disturbing. It's not good at all. So back in the 1930s, some people from North America thought it was a great idea to introduce a species of live bearer into our local creeks and rivers to control the mosquito problem. They thought that this fish would dwell on the riverbanks, which is what they do do, do do, and they thought that it would predate on the mosquito larvae and hopefully control the mosquito populations. Now this is kind of what happened, but it also is kind of exactly what did not happen. So what actually happened was when they introduced in 1930, the mosquito larvae did dwell on the banks and creeks of the rivers and not only ate the mosquito larvae, but also started to predate on the native frog uh, tadpoles and also the native fish's eggs, which were laid on the riverbanks, also started to be eaten by these mosquito fish. Now this is actually bad because this never happened before, or, or not in this much or greater numbers as it was. So the native fish's eggs started to be all eaten up along the riverbanks, the um, native frog population started to drop obviously because the tadpoles weren't surviving and here you have a debacle because an introduced species is starting uh, species is starting to become a pest now and is predating on native species now the mosquito fish is also an aggressive fish although it's you know only three three and four centimeters long it'll go and start biting on the fins of the native fish and you know it's it's becoming a pest as you can see so Another reason why this fish is not dying off through environmental issues, because even our native fish in Australia still face hard times. You know, we've got droughts, we've got flash floods, and you know, big temperature changes in the water, and this can actually kill our native fish, but not the mosquito fish. The mosquito fish are super flexible with their diet. They can eat just about anything, as we just heard from, you know, the frog babies to eggs to larvae, anything, so they're, really got a flexible diet they can withstand pretty much any temperature from frigid cold waters and creeks in the winter time to the just about dried up pools in the summertime even though it's bad water quality they can just gulp straight fresh air and it makes them real battle machines that can survive just about anything which is actually kind of crazy so environment doesn't affect them what what does you know there's no real predators and the predators that are predators towards these guys these mosquito fish have kind of adapted and they can just burrow, they can escape to the weeds and although they may get eaten in you know ones and twos, these guys are, are overpopulating in the hundreds. So they can produce in high numbers, in high volumes and it's becoming a real problem. So the reason I'm making this video for you guys is to share some information, some background details on these mosquito fish, you know, what they're doing. They're an introduced species that's turned into a pest they're starting to destroy the, the, the nature and the habitats of Australian rivers and creeks. And if you see these, get rid of them, catch them out. Don't let them hop back in the creek. Get rid of them in a humane way. And uh, don't keep them in your fish tanks. And uh, let's have a closer look, because I've brought some home, about 30 of them to have a closer look at. Got no idea how many times I press record. This is what six time now. I'm gonna be really good at this video. You have no idea. Is this recording? It's recording. I've recorded this like five times, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> 